Hey, this is Wayne, aka Roby, and I wanted to put together a little video about how to configure the Ubox ZF9P GNSS RTK module as a as a base station and as a rover. So it's going to take two ZF9P modules. One is going to be the corrections provider, and the other is going to be the rover that uh, goes around in the field, uh, accurately positioning itself wherever it is. Um, I'm using the official Ubox C099-F9P uh, development board or application board. Uh, there are several options. Uh, so what I'm the, the procedure I'm describing may work with the other boards like the Ardu Simple board that have a ZF9P, but I'm just using the official board. I had trouble uh, getting the the configuration. Uh, to work with the onboard radio. So I'm actually not going to be using the uh, the Odin radio that's on board the development board. I'm just going to wire the two boards together and so that we can achieve an RTK fix with everything working with them wired together with a hard wire. And hopefully in a later blog post, I can show you how I uh, wirelessly connect them to each other. I just use a SICK, that's S-I-K, uh, radio that you can get from eBay for 15 or 20 bucks. And it has great range and, and it works great to, to send the corrections to the rover. But let's go ahead and jump in. Uh, notice that we have the base station attached to the PC. The rover is not attached right now. Let's bring up the device manager on your Windows machine and if you expand the ports item you should see if you have Windows 10 you should see something that's that says USB serial device and this is the this is the port that we want to uh, communicate with the Z on so that's port 3 so let's go ahead and bring up uCenter and I think you'll need any version of uCenter after 19. So I'm using 1904, which is the latest as of late 2019. So if you bring up uCenter and connect to port 3. Okay, now we're connected to our Z. Now this one is not operating presently as a base station, but we're going to... Uh, we're going to configure that and it shouldn't take too long. So go ahead and I click the gear box that's got a red uh, arrow in it and your icons on this screen may be in slightly different places than mine. Um, but if you go ahead and click that icon it will reset the configuration settings on your board to the factory defaults. So that way you and I are starting from the same place. So Ubox actually has a presence on GitHub and they have some files to help you get started with the C099 dev board. And so we're actually gonna use two files today. We're gonna use the F9P base config file and the F9P rover config file. So go ahead and download both of those files and note where you save them to. All right, so once you download the files, go back to uCenter and go to uh, View Generation 9 Configuration View. And I think this item is new in, in uCenter 19. So now click on Advanced Configuration. You might need to expand this out. And go down and click Load. And now upload the base file. Okay, so you clicked load, but it hasn't actually sent uh, these commands to the receiver yet. To do that, we click send, and watch, you'll see some arrows or some check marks that will uh, flash in next to the items. Okay, there they are. See, those check marks mean that the, the command successfully sent. Okay, so now, now that we've done that, we I want to make a few configuration changes um, that I will now show you. So go ahead and um, 
Let's close out of this screen. And in, in Use Center, if you click Window and uh, Cascade, it'll, it'll make the window where you can uh, close out of it. But go to View and Configuration View. Now, we I want to set the, the location of my antenna. So I know the coordinates of my base station antenna. If you don't, um, I pointed out on the on the blog a few ways that you can uh, find those coordinates or, or get a pretty good approximation of those coordinates. You may have success with the survey in method that UBlox provides. I, I've that hasn't ever been haven't had a lot of success with the survey in, but I know my base station coordinates. So I'm going to click T mode three and click. Fixed mode, check that. Let's go ahead and put these in. Okay, and after you click, if you enter those, you have to click send to send the uh, information to the receiver. Now, I want to update the port settings to communicate at 115K. On UART 1, it's going to output the RTCM information, which is the correction information. Go ahead and click Send. On UART 2, let's just update it to 115. We actually won't be using UART 2 in this example. So that's really it. Um, notice that the receiver now says Time. When it says Time, that means it's outputting RTCM corrections. So the last important step is if you want to permanently save these configuration settings, you go to CFG and click Save Current Configuration and Send. So if you forgot to do that, if you power cycle the board, when it comes back, it would have, uh, it would forget all of the, the settings you just gave it. All right, so now the base station is configured. Okay, so now the base station is configured. Let's connect to the rover. And go ahead and reset to default configuration. All right, now go to view, generation nine, advanced. And we're going to upload the rover file from Ublox GitHub. Open, click send, see the check check boxes. Okay, so now we need to update the baud rates and the um, output rate for the board to, uh, to play nicely with, with our system. So go ahead, so go to view, configuration view and click on the ports and for UART2 it's fine we actually want it to output uh, NMEA we'll use that later on click send 115k baud UART1 just make sure it's at uh, 115 we actually won't use one with our PixHawk so on the rate Update this to 200 milliseconds, which is uh, 5 hertz frequency, and send. I don't know if it matters, but I always uh, click send on all, all five of these items. Okay, so now we just need to save. Save this send all right but notice that the fixed mode just says 3d and that means that it's not we're not doing any kind of RTK but we are going to connect the UART one port from the base station uh, to the UART two receiving port on the rover. And now watch this. All 
Okay. Look at that. It didn't take hardly any time. And we got a fix. And so now the rover is, it's, it has an RTK fix, it's centimeter accurate position, and we're set up and ready to roll.